Good morning, South Beach. <laughs> and you take classes pretty much at I least five like days a week. Five days a week, yeah. And then tell us about like when you teach and taking classes, what, what motivates you at, let's just say, the golden years of your life, taking these classes, where most people are either checking out or checking into a, an old retirement home. You, you're here every day. Yeah, I don't want to go to a retirement home, so I try to keep myself moving so that I, I don't have to do that, and I don't want to be have to walk slow and be crippled. So if I keep working out, I stay loose, I stay in good health, and you know, I just feel better. It just, it's great. It's a good feeling. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's what it yeah, is. Keep, you got to keep you know, moving. Like Jack Lane, you know, yeah. He's on the Hudson at what ninety something. Yeah. Like, did he really? Yeah, yeah, I think it was like 92 or 94 or something like that. It was crazy. He had like the juice sneaker and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, yeah. It's a clear testament. Do not stop. Keep training. Keep moving. Really, you know, age is just a number. So now that the two of you are a little more, I mean, Dino and I have that background, of course, but we're more into boxing now. Like with the martial arts background, how does it differ from the boxing to you guys? What, what do you see, think is different between the boxers okay. and maybe like an MMA or martial arts? I'll, or, say, I'll say it like this. When it comes to the difference between a boxer or a fighter, rather, than a martial artist, you tell a, a boxer, give me 100 jab crosses, they'll give you 1,000. Show a martial artist one technique, they want 1,000. Understand? So the commitment level is totally different. Even though I'm a certain type of martial artist, like, I have a boxing background, I started with boxing, so I understood that repetition, repetition, repetition. The thing with the other fighters compared to the martial artists is that they have a specific goal to be champion or to win and stuff like that. Where martial artists does it as a recreational, or more on self-defense. The fighter really takes a, a lonely path, and it's a it's a hard path because they accept the fact that they're gonna the body's gonna get damaged. You know they're gonna have great days. They're gonna have days where they're very depressed, but yet they keep coming because that's the only way you get better. Obviously, if they're not getting better, they should rethink <laughs> their path. But for the most part, there is progress. I am the greatest! Yeah.